Recently, University of Vermont Communications sent a team of photographers and writers across campus and across Vermont to try to capture a snapshot of one day at UVM. A day in the life really gives us a chance to take a look at the whole world that's happening around us that we may not see day in and day out. The project began at 6 a.m. on October 20th, 2015. These early morning images capture a place that's lively and wide awake despite the hour. For our audience, which primarily is the high school student who's wondering which school to go to, doing a day in the life really helps us show what is life at the University of Vermont like. What happens in the classroom, but also what happens in the residence halls, what happens uh, on sports teams. So it gives them a chance to see what life at the university is like from sunrise to midnight. Prospective students get to see a glimpse into life at UVM. But this project is equally eye-opening for those who are more in the know. Not only are we talking to prospective students of the university, we're also talking to our community right here. We hear back from people who work on campus uh, that they didn't realize that the incredible diversity of things happens in a single day here. So it's also a great community building story where people learn, oh, I've seen that person on campus before, and now I know a little bit more about their story. Or I always wondered what that club was all about, and now I've seen kind of a moment in their life. It takes so many different kinds of people to make a university work. Josh Brown came up with this idea to capture a day in the life of UVM in 2011. This year, he worked the late night shift and discovered students hard at work and hard at play. I stopped in at the living learning uh, residential uh, area and stopped in where there were a bunch of undergraduate students who had organized an indoor drone flying contest. <laughs> and they were getting out their little tiny hovercraft and some larger things that had propellers and zooming them around in the darkness, trying to land them, trying to do stunts. And uh, it was just a subculture of a subculture that I think few of us were aware of, but was, was really a lot of fun for this group of students who were focused on that technology. Right down the hall, another group of students was in the pottery studio, and they were, they were not doing a class assignment, but they were deeply invested in, in, in making things on, this, on the uh, pottery wheels, and there was this kind of serene, wonderful collegiality going on there as people were, uh, were making pottery. Brown also ventured off campus to find a one-of-a-kind piece of equipment being prepped to go where few have gone before. I went down to the waterfront and stopped in at UVM's Rubenstein Ecosystem Sciences Laboratory, which is right on the edge of Lake Champlain, and not that many people know about it. Probably even fewer people know that the university has a little a submarine. It's a remotely operated underwater vehicle, and so I stopped in to the into one of these little known rooms in the Ecosystem Science Lab and got to chatting with Steve Cluett, who is the captain of the UVM research boat, and he was in there working on this submarine, getting the hydraulics and the electronics to be ready for a research trip that was going to go out later that day. And I just enjoyed talking with Steve, getting a sense for his technical expertise, and reminded again of how many people it takes behind the scenes to create the new knowledge, to do the teaching, to make the public educational outcomes that we're more aware of possible. A day in the life of UVM is a snapshot of a diverse place and a dedicated community. A peek behind the scenes at what it means to be the University of Vermont. At UVM, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.